Yeah, Smart Wargames here. Let's check out a new Wargame release. Valor and Victory. Stalingrad. Yeah, squad level, turn based. You can get it either on Matrix Slytherin or on Steam. You get it on Matrix Slytherin, you also receive typically a Steam key, so you get both. And yeah, as the name indicates, this is focusing on the Battle of Stalingrad. So what battles will you receive? Here you can see it. We will go through all those battles. Yeah, you can play them either from Axis or Allied side. And you can play them against AI from either side or in hot seat. Yeah, it, it's not only the Battle of Stalingrad, but basically Stalingrad was basically the was the climax of Operation Blue. Part Blau. This German offensive attempt in 42. And despite the famous city fighting, you can also play battles that will put you in an open you know, with armored forces, etc. But then soon you will translate to the city battle of Stalingrad. And as you might see, there are some famous buildings uh, like the grain elevator, the railway station. That so bloody combat. Bloody Cardi. Steelworks. And yeah, the counter offensive by the Soviets Uranus. In command by Zukov. And then Manstein's attempt to release the forces. And then the very end with the German catastrophe of losing the entire 6th army. And yeah, many might know the Pavlov's house, that building changed owners very often, very bloody combat. That is pretty good for a showcase here. We'll play that from the Soviet perspective. Uh, in order to give you an overview of forces, yeah, it's not only infantry and heavy weapons, but you can also see armored vehicles like Panzerkampfwagen here, tank, tank, Panzer Force, AA systems by the Soviets. You will also see Soviet tanks, yeah, T-34s, AT guns, more tanks, RT, air forces. Good, let's play Pavlov's house. And yeah, this the access will start. And then we'll start with the artillery barrage. Already causing casualties here. The squad of Banov. And Golo for oh. Yeah, St. Andre, of course, stays unharmed. Ah, uh, that was a bit too early called. Fact is happening, Germans pushing. <clears throat> yeah, as represented by similar tactical board or computer games, there's different phases here, like uh, 
fire phase, movement phase, command phase, allied defense phase, that is our current phase where you can fire on think you can as for the AT gun, but I think we have here one as well. Yeah, now that is a Maxim. This AT. Here. I mean, no LOS. What be. Yeah. Defense fire, those guys are pinned. But that is quite far away. Little chance of hitting some. So let, let them ad us advance and assault and let them move closer before we open fire. Good, they moved a squad in this building here. Mike opened fire with forces in the vicinity of Vatutin. Leadership managed to rally up those squads here. Good, the operator Maxim together with some anti tank grenades. Good, yeah, we might open fire on this building. Uh, this might put us on the subject of this two tanks approaching. That is Panzerkampfwagen 3. Panzer 3. Yeah, we're currently in the command phase here. You can shift equipment and order support options. Currently, we have nothing to available. Mm, I don't want to transfer weapons. I'm happy with the support layout. So I'm done here in this phase. Good, we're in a fire phase. And as yeah, let's prepare with some, let's tell them with a HE round by the AT gun. Send a, a, a HE round by the anti tank gun to that building. Might do a little, but. I yeah, will receive good bonuses by being in a reinforced position, but anyways, let's try it out. We missed. Next, we have mortars here. That is five centimeter mortars. That is rather a joke. Fire on those guys in the building. I doubt that. And up. Yeah, you can enable, disable equipment for a firefight, but at this range, they won't throw any tank. Right? Doesn't matter if you have it activated because range. And yeah, the anti-tank rifle, sure, why not? Yeah, it can be used in an anti-infantry role. It's basically like a big sniper rifle caliber. And might have some utility against forces in buildings. So we will use that Valotin open fire. And we managed to pin them, that is good news. There's a pinned, at least elements of them. One squad down. South engineers are a bit pinned. Here, those guys could open fire also on Trost, Lensen, Wiederbeck. But those two platoons, platoon sized elements, currently not really my concern. Fire on those guys again. I mean, there is some guys in the open here. Right hit them. And yeah, we managed some casualties on German forces in the open. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah, casualties are permanent. Got mortared by friendly fire. All of that's how the mortar works. Check down the tank gun. Might find a building of Trost as long as those things are not visible. Mm. 
system. I think that's it for the fire face here. Unleash. Yeah, let's end the fire face, go to movement phase. Good, we're in the move phase. Uh, we could bring in Golov's Golov course guys to the south into this main building and these guys here get to this building that would enable us to put heavy fire on this area here not slow down German advance or we could move them into the north of this building and Lay down fire here, but I don't really believe that it push out central plaza. Mike, yeah, we won't do a south move. A south move is basically you can move and then fire. Yeah, fire roll will be not that good. Be pretty good for a south movement. That might, is something that Germans might do. Either this, I think this building. But I don't think we'll reach it. This movement phase. Okay, but we assume some defense position here. Um, we should either hit this building here in the rear or this one, depending on the situation. Okay. Other than that, do I want to move here? Yeah, we might move Gotovko into the center building. Because I rather expect uh, emphasis on the south. From here, you could fire. You can fire out over the top of the AT gun. But perhaps there's even more forces, who knows. Ah, look at this, yeah, Barnoff. So here, getting together with a rifle squad. Yeah, I think I might shift Gotovko to the center building. With his man. While Barnoff will assume fire position in the south. This building. As I can really expect no threat here in the northern. Andre. Yeah, this guy is operating the mortar that is he's not really needed for direct fire operations. As long as he's not mortaring my guys. I think that's it for the movement phase. Good, yeah, the Germans will now receive a defensive fire phase. There shouldn't be anything subject to that, yeah, but if you move, for example, somewhere into the open, uh, you assault the German positions, you are sitting here, the Germans might be receiving the defensive fire on you. But I don't think the AI will fire on anything. Yeah, they might fire mortars.
good we are in the advanced on assault phase which you can also move for maneuvering so yeah now we need to do a decision here for those two squads either stay here but i think we will hit the building it's question is do we want to use a, a, a advanced on assault phase for that be stuck here in the streets and we need to watch out yeah toast might lay down fire I think in the south we are safer. If the Germans move force in the south, they might hit us in the open. And us, yeah, those guys got pinned here. They are the most forward element. Nothing else. But they rallied up. Uh, good job here. Thanks, participating here. Uh, German fire is currently focusing on this building, causing casualties and killing. That is to be expected as long as they don't capture those positions. Yeah, this already turned two of six. And it seems like the AI is not going for an assault. Yeah, I was expecting because you already see that they're firing with those guys. If you fire, you might be not using those forces for a proper assault. That is good news, rather. Yeah, defensive fire phase. Sure, we can use those mortars, especially here Gruber, Kleinert. And cause some casualties, that is good news. There's a mortar unit, just watch out what you're doing. Oh, I'm supposed. Is that another unit? <laughs> okay. That. Which means get your stuff done, really. Okay, uh, Kluber is still sitting in the open. Let's mortar them. But it's out of range. Okay, and we pinned those for, uh, pinned elements of those forces here in this building with the uh, HE fire of this AP gun. Good. Do we against Vida back again? No. 
Okay, mortars. Use for them. But from watching my own guys. Also, on the other hand, can mortar Kluber. And they cost pinning there, that is good. We get a, even casualties. Yeah, Valatine open fire on Wiederbeck's forces. Good, we broke up a further two squads here against Wiederbeck. Obviously, might even launch a counter offensive here in the south and bring up enough force as well. Firing on us here, defense fireplace. Let's have some cash. It seems like the leader died. Run for the cash. Yeah, I don't think really those models will do that much against units in the building, but enough to try it out. I mean, the biggest danger for some assault move is currently Wiederbeck's force, but the Germans realize that they're currently not really fit for and not in a position to conduct an assault. Reducing Wiederbeck's force might even further the question.
yeah, Thorst might be in position to push on our objective after we lost comrades in the RT, so let's try to pin them. Yeah, I will leave the objective here clear because this northern part of the building is quite lethal. It's becoming subject to the entire German force. Um, don't want to lose further forces. I might stick with Valotin in the southern part of the building. Yeah, we could move Fodolov with his mortars to the south. And as long as Germans are not in the open, those smaller caliber mortars not really that efficient. Good Germans decide to move into the open and they might go for this objective tile, but we will handle that. Uh this command phase, yeah I don't might be weapons in this tile. And that thing to attend. Yeah, rally. Normally the command phase asks for rally actions, etc. In board games, yeah, that is of course in computer games handled rather well, quickly. So there was a rally going on. So let's switch to the fire phase. And let's try to hit Kluber hard, those guys, that platoon sized element here is moving into the open, probably want to seize our building here. But we will prevent that with AT and mortar fire. Let's start with mortar fire. Far we couldn't get a fix on Kluber's forces. This for Kluber, he will be allowed to continue. That is fine. He should reach in a single turn. This tile will definitely become one more time subject to heavy fire. If he get, can, comes really close to the building, we might need to think about what two team moving him into this, onto this edge. But yeah, of course, further casualties here was on Wiederbeck's platoon. Those guys should be rendered ineffective for assault. Might be also a consideration to pull south our force. It's currently in the north, nothing is happening. And reinforce those buildings. This might take two up to three turns. That is little time left. Because their weaponry is quite out of range here, and when it comes in range, Germans already reach the southern objective tiles here. There's also a wall here, I mean, we don't need to stay at, in buildings, mandatory. But this will, of course, put us, make us very vulnerable to mortar and tank fire. Yeah, might move a platoon in the movement phase. Also, protect the AT gun, but let's move it. Up.
Kill zone, das ist noch ein part of the building. But it's objectives, yeah. We are uh, tasked to maintain them. And I'm currently trading bodies against time uh, for time here. Very good, that was a nice mortar hit. It rendered Kluber's man operation for some time. Yeah, okay. German's not pushing forward. Saves us another turn. Very good. Do the command phase. Fire phase. Yes. Managed to pin some elements of Vida back. Yeah, but Tutin is sitting with a hand grenade. He's a leader. Stay there. Watch. Andre is coming up here. Andre F. And that was some react reaction fire. Guy won't live to tell the tale.
Beyond the Grave, this is a great game to watch. Fun missions. <laughs> Some hero sniper popped up, got eliminated instant. Well, he he or she announced herself here with some super uh, trump trumpet music, but uh, disappeared as fast they appeared. Yeah, seems like there's some snipers popped up, but snipers are gone as already. That was quite fast. Okay, yeah, happens. Huh? Good. Two more turns we need to hold. Now we are in advanced phase. This means I can move forward my infantry squad in order to reunite with Andreev. Good. At least we have a force again in this building. As Vatutin's force is basically non existent. I don't think that somebody will cross in the next few turns here. The thing is here, Death, Death Plaza. Like Gruber tried, attempted to reach that building. Gruber is no more. Okay, Trost platoon trying its luck in a final desperate attempt to reach the objective. Desperate. But we match casualties and would help tremendously. Yeah, heavy casualties inflicted on both platoon. 
And I don't think they will manage the next turn. I mean, it's open terrain, but I think they don't, won't manage to enter the building. So it should be. Last push Yeah, reaction fire here <clears throat> by Andre and Thor's platoon or what is remaining of it is but Thor's is looking for the iron cross show me where the iron cross is growing and reach Jimmy man he's pushing hard he is in a ton of hey Jimmy stop it <laughs> so even going for the objectives I don't know what he is going for. He is in tunnel mode. Uh, but those Germans pushed here into the southern buildings like madmen. On the last turn here, the Germans go going quite active. Hope it is the last turn, Jimmy, because I already made my my preparations. Open my champagne. Okay, let's see. Defense fire fail. This mod is endangered. Can you fire that close? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter. Ah, here. Found those pimp guys here. Oh, tank incoming.
How low is that building in the last turn? Counter assault. Counter assault. That might be an idea. Counter assault. Good. Good job. And now they're sitting in the open, but that was crucial. We wanted to manage those heroic Germans here to push into my objectives on the last turn. And yeah, major victory. Good, yeah, that was Vela and Victory, Stalingrad, check it out, yeah, on Matrix Slytherin or Steam. Quite a fun tactical war game. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Good hunting.